Welcome to Katarna Kimi channel. In this video, I'll be explaining about February 2021 visa bulletin details. So please watch until the end and do not forget to subscribe to Katarna Kimi channel for entertainment and information related videos. As we expected guys, there is a, a very good movement in EB1 videos and as I used to say in the previous videos too, we can expect EB1 to start progressing much faster than it was and uh, that is what it is happening. So in the fine, so I'm discussing about final action dates currently, final action dates chart. Okay. So EB1 has been moved uh, from uh, September 2019 to until 1st January 2020. That's a huge, I mean, it's a very good amount of time that uh, has been progressed on EB1. I know most of the people might not qualify or you might not be even interested in the EB1, but I know there are still some people who are interested in knowing the dates of EB1. So further, further information in the EB1 category, the final action dates moved until 1st January 2020. That's a very good move. Coming back to EB2 and EB3. So there is a very, very less movement, hardly six or seven days. So EB2 is at 12th October 2009. EB3 is at 1st April 2010. So compared to the previous uh, bulletin, it just got moved by only like very few days, six or seven days. So not a big, huge deal. So it is still staying at final action dates. So let's discuss about dates of filing chart. There is no movement at all in EB1, EB2, EB3 categories in, in corresponding to dates of filing chart. They just stayed as it is they were in January 2021 visa bulletin. So EB1 is at 1st November 2020, EB2 is at 15 May 2011 and EB3 is at 1st January 2014. As you see when compared to the previous bulletin, there is slight, there is not even any movement. Uh, none of the categories have been progressed forward or retrogressed backward. So frankly, you might not even care about dates of filing chart since January and in this February bulletin because USCIS clearly mentioned that they will be using final action dates. So as if you remember back in November and uh, I think it was uh, in the December too, where, where the people were trying to downgrade their applications because at that time, EB3 was much more uh, much more progressed uh, when compared to the EB2 and they clearly said that they can use we can use dates of filing chart. So but now from January they clearly mentioned that we, they will be using final action dates chart only. So hence you might not even care about dates of filing chart but anyways there is no movement at all in that chart right. So that's all I wanted to explain in this video. I wish a good luck for everyone. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like this video or do not like this video, please give a like or a dislike. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Bye.